Before I begin, make sure you're subscribed. That's all I ask of you. Do it now. Are you done? Do it now! Welcome back, everybody, as we watch more Jujutsu Kaisen today. We are on episode number eight, and as of the last episode, this show is entering territory of being one of my favorites so far of all the anime I've watched. Just by the sheer animation of the fight between Gojo and Jogo was fantastic. We got an exposure to domain expansion in the last episode. Jogo going after Gojo created this domain that he expanded, and Yuji got to see it because Gojo picked up Yuji and said, hey, you're done watching movies now, you're gonna watch us fight like grown-ups, and it blew Yuji mind to see them encompassed around this giant dome of lava that Jogo created but it wasn't over there Gojo is better he ripped off his mask and exposed his sexy man face which he is one of the best looking anime characters we've ever seen in my own opinion at least and then he pulled a reverse card put us in his own domain thoughts were passing in and out of Jogo's head he couldn't control himself he was frozen and Gojo won the fight and right before Gojo killed Jogo Hanami stepped in to save Jogo's life picked up his head ran away to meet back up with his other Sam Samurai looking human friend and all of a sudden after they went through this door They were on a beach with another curse named Mahito and the plan has now been formulated not to go right after Gojo Because if he just gets attacked at any old time, he's gonna be way too powerful for any of these curses They're gonna try to seal him up on October 31st specifically why that date I don't know why maybe it's because Halloween all the spirits and curses coming out one more thing to add to this though I want to kind of draw out what they were talking about at the end of the last episode with Mahito was talking about them doing this smartly or cunningly like like spirits should be or curses should be and then he also said like humans should be are these curses half human half curse they seem to share qualities of both human and curse one other thing that makes me think this is that Hanami speaks in reverse and I caught one of his voice lines in the last episode saying that they are the real humans after all which is so interesting so I don't know what theories to make out of this just want to mention that all this stuff is posted early and uncut on my patreon if you want to support the channel in the description down below so yeah make sure you're subscribed and without further ado let's go ahead and watch some more Jujutsu Kai Ah, right, we're back at Jujutsu High, I believe. What are we doing here? Dude, I like her fit. Panda. I always love seeing the panda. To go over the exchange event? Tuna, he said. Who arranged for them to go out? Did they say the name of someone? Principal of Kyoto is one of the higher ups, isn't he? So it is true. This is an organized, like, assassinating in a way. And they have no idea. <laughs> Salmon. Bro, this guy... <laughs> Who is my? Students are necessary for a meeting. They love harassing us. Todo and Mai. She's similar to the other chick? Ah, oh, they're twins! Maki and Mai. Came here with the principal because we're worried about you. You look like you're up to no good. I'm just gonna say that. Some things are hard to say out loud. Don't say it. No! He was more than a vessel. He was our buddy. Dang, dude. He was a good guy. You don't know him. Shut up. You're not even as pretty as your sister. She really just said that. Yeah, get her in line, Toto. Whatever your name is. Okototsu's place. Wait, what happened to Kokotsu? Okototsu. So we better fight to see if we're fit to take a place? What kind of woman is your type? <laughs> Nobara. <laughs> Imagine he said that. Oh, bro. Oh my gosh! You better answer, answer correctly or you're about to get hugged a little too tightly. Tall woman with a... Oh, hey man, to each his own brother. Alright, so he's got to say what his favorite type of woman is. If he gives a wrong answer, they're about to have a fight to the death. What if he answers what he just answered? There's a level of humor in the midst of all these really intense moments within the show that just like do it for me personally. It's why it's making this one of my favorite shows already. Top notch. Awesome story writing. You better ask correctly, Megumi. My taste in women with a guy I just met. He's got a scar here. Where'd that come from? <laughs> True. Does he even have a type? Introduction over. Okay, well now we're friends. Now we're home slices, my slime. 
If you prefer mid, that's fine too. Bro, no way he's actually requiring him to answer this right now. What am I watching at the moment? I hate boring man. Why does this matter? Why does this make him a boring man? <laughs> she just called him dumb, dude. She just called him an idiot. <laughs> I'll let you off only half dead right now. There's some uniform. That is kind of a nice uniform. She has like some breathable air or arm room, I mean. Where it's his mom said to him before she died, I guess. She has unshakable character, I wouldn't ask her more. What a king! It don't matter what she look like, as long as she got character. Yeah, Navarro would have been the one to kill him if he would have said something like that, yeah. <laughs> You're so beautiful! Such a great answer! Oh no. Oh, that boring! Oh, frick, dude. Oh! I can hear the bones crack! Oh no. Why is it being beat down again? Did I miss this? Kokotsu's place. Wait, what happened to Kokotsu? Kokotsu. Nothing more than a first year against top grade Todo. Watch him just completely obliterate Todo. Uh, oh, she said it. You've got open pour, sis. You didn't. She's got a clock! He is kind of buff, though, I will say. She trampled my kindness. This brings him to utter tears. <laughs> Pineapple on your head. That Todo? What other Todo? Unprecedented Jujutsu terror attack. So he's like nothing to mess with, Toto. He doesn't use curse techniques. Probably just sheer cursed energy because he's so strong, right? Here we go. New plus gamma? New animals! Frog! Oh! He's fast! Oh gosh. He's gotta be smart. Come on, Mugumi. Oh, come on, man. Don't do this to him. Break him like a Twix bar. Snap him like a hockey stick. Oh, frick in the face. He's blocking it, though. He's doing his best. Oh, his face. Dude, everybody in this universe is, like, overpowered. The fact that this guy would probably be a joke against Gojo, by the way, too. Come on. Dude, oh my gosh. Why does it matter if I'm boring? Yes, King. That's right, I got my froggy buddies. Oh, show me what you got, King. Show me what you got. He's gonna be on par with Gojo one day. Oh, here we go. <gasps> what? He, wait, what just happened? That's the, the, the salmon dude. His mouth looks so cool. Panda to save the day. Still want to see Megumi's abilities, though. Where'd I put my jacket? Okay, so he's scared of the panda. Dude, we gotta talk about that. Bonito flakes his mouth here. That was so cool. <laughs> panda, I don't understand even speech. We still got Russian roulette going on over here. Yeah, stop it, sis. Equally losers, you know? I like Maki a lot. I like Bonet Bonito Flakes guy a lot, too. Look down on someone every so often, dude. My is so pathetic. Sister on sis? Yeah, queen! Let's go! Put a bunch of holes in my brand new tracksuit. Unforgivable. Kill her! Kill her! Take her out! Ooh, there's not a position to be talking right now, sister. No, you kill her. Take her out, Nabara. <laughs> there's my jacket that I ripped off. So I guess we're gonna have to face up against these guys in whatever that tournament is that's gonna happen. <laughs> handshake with Tadaka-chan? <laughs> he gets to handshake with her? Bro, what? <laughs> the exchange event, that's what it's called again. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a uniform. 
So she doesn't have cursed energy. I, I caught that too. I didn't mention it yet. I can't even see curses without these glasses. So those glasses help her detect the curses. Curse tools. That's like what he gave you. That's right. Now I'm trying to think of that. <laughs> Our whole goal here is to be bigger and better than her sister. She respects her. She's going to be the mentor now of Nobara. She's like an older sister figure. That's one thing to mention about Nobara. Maybe she's like quick to take on mentors. But really interesting that these two characters came from the other school to try to take Megumi and Nobara out to really test how strong they are. They are obviously very bored with the taste of women that Megumi had. But I'm excited to see what's going to happen at the tournament, the, the, the meetup that they all have in the future, especially with Yuji being involved. One other thing to mention, we got a snapshot. I, I straight up don't remember his name because I've been recording these videos back to back, but the guy who only speaks in food. We got a snapshot to his abilities. And for some reason, I thought that Megumi had transformed into like having white hair and this thing on his mouth. But no, that's just the guy who keeps saying salmon. He and the panda together, probably so OP. That's why that guy left. He knew they're nothing to be messed with. Where is Yuji and, and Gojo after that last fight? That's one thing I wanted to mention. He looks like an angry old man. Oh, there you go. This is one of the higher ups. Principal Yaga won't be coming for a while. So is this one of the elders of the school's association? Okay, so the Yuji, he knows they're trying to take him out. Don't you know how to be polite? Mm, dang, dude. What are you going to do about it? Blue head? Lollipop? <laughs> Never mind, she, she's sipping. She, she's sipping. <laughs> I would feel the same way, sis, don't worry. He was attacked by two unregistered special grade spirits. Come on, man, you gotta play it better than that. You know something about this, right? Is <laughs> she trying to hold back? True. I wonder if this principal knows anything about it. Mm. What happened with him? The appearance of the Sukuna vessel. Are there more vessels for these curses? And that's what's manifesting to these people? Oh man. Gojo not holding back any truth here. I want to see the old man fight. <laughs> I'll be going now. So he just basically walks in his office, sticks it to him, and then walks out. <laughs> Miwa, would you buy me some tea? I like Miwa. She seems nice. <laughs> I get to take a picture with him. Miwa! I love Miwa, actually, so far. Who's this? Ah, uh, <laughs> a handshake with him. <laughs> this big strong guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, one month later. Classic dude, bro. Gonna go see the his probably his favorite streamer. That's who it is. I know the movie was bad and all, guys, but dang, brother. These high school boys discover corpses were... Okay, the, the corpses were discovered after a movie. Cranial pressure respiratory paralysis. Don't talk to that person. Don't ask them that. They did. You're about to die, too. Why would you... This looks like... Kakazu. And Naruto. Oh, gosh. You shouldn't be able to see him. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that person's dead. Maybe not. Maybe they're gonna take them in because I can see. Special. They're special people. Who's this? Have we seen this person before? Alright, let's go in. Let's take a look at the theater. Maybe see a movie while we're here too. Catch a good flick. So yeah, there's a lot of things moving around here, obviously. Gojo's on to the elders on what they're trying to do here and taking Yuji out, maintaining power. He's not like this. He just goes in with such direct threats. Like he's scared of no one. And that's why I love him so much as a character. I can't wait to see how this is gonna unfold. Can't wait to learn about this character more at the very end of the episode here that said you can see me. Yuji's about to go in and see what happened inside of this movie theater. It's gonna be very traumatic, I'm sure. So she did get a picture with him. <laughs> Thank you so much! He's like, yeah, no problem, girl. She didn't even get the tea, though. 
She's gonna be scolded if she didn't get the tea. Oh gosh. Where's my tea? Chala? <laughs> oh wait, this is the Juju Stroll. I thought the last part was. Here we go. <laughs> She's coming after Toto. What is this? For the next handshake, you should go experience how wonderful Tanaka Chan is in person. As a future husband. <laughs> Dude, Toto is the creepiest guy we've seen in the show yet. She's actually gonna go do it. <laughs> she has to put her gun down? Wow, a girl. No way her handshake's that good. Uh, she's being put into a trance here. How was it? Fine. She's in love with it. She's in love with it. She's not bad. Start of my love interest right here. Okay, very good episode. I'm excited to get to the next one. That was a lot of fun. Gotta see what happens inside of the movie theater in the next one. Make sure you guys check out this stuff on Patreon, on Cut, and Early. And hopefully you enjoyed everything that I have for you here today. If you did, you don't mind doing so, make sure you go ahead and drop a sub like. Man. That's a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And I will see you in the next reaction video. Shout out to all of my Patreon subscribers that you see on the screen right here. Becoming a Patreon supporter gives you access to early and uncut anime react videos as well as a ton of other content and your name is at the end of every single one of my videos. So if you guys want to come to Patreon today, you can find it in the link down below. It's a great way to support the channel and I hope you'll consider doing it.